In addition to our recent feature on the 10 most awaited sequels of all time, there are a lot more franchises whose fans have been craving for their sequels for quite a long time. Of course, those also deserve their due recognition. And here are 10 more franchises whose sequels have been accompanied by long stretches of wishful waiting. Splinter Cell when Metal Gear Solid hit the scene in 1998, Ubisoft quickly jumped the gun for developing a competitor to that title. Splinter Cell hit store shelves in 2002 and instantly solidified itself as a viable competitor to Konami's offerings. There are a multitude of differences between Metal Gear Solid and Splinter Cell, with the latter being more tactical and unforgiving, while the former features some great dynamic gameplay and memorable boss fights. Splinter Cell had a great run during the original Xbox era, with Chaos Theory generally being considered the peak of the series by many fans. All right, next you need to pop both of these locks at the same time. That's what the telemetric pick is for. Exactly. It reads your movements in one lock and mimics them in the other lock, real time. You guys use some cool toys. The PS3, Xbox 360 era had Splinter Cell Conviction and Splinter Cell Blacklist, both of which sold below expectations. That isn't reflective of their quality though, but fans have yet to receive any substantial information on the future of Splinter Cell in more than eight years. Series protagonist Sam Fisher has made appearances in other Ubisoft properties such as Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six Siege, and Elite Squad, but has yet to be featured in his own game for a long time now. A healthy stream of rumors has kept fans hopeful for a new game for a long time, with every Ubisoft showing at an E3 or a similar event being associated with one age-old question asking, will there be a new Splinter Cell? For Sam. One thing Third Echelon had always been about was the truth. Even after everything that happened, he'd held on to that. But now he was coming back as the hunter. Sly Cooper Sony dominated the PS2 generation with a steady flow of 3D action platformers, which included the likes of Jack and Daxter, Ratchet and Clank, and Sly Cooper. Sly Cooper pioneered the genre with innovative tools and level design that contained equal parts stealth sections and platforming challenges. The last entry in the franchise came in the form of Sly Cooper Thieves in Time, which received great critical acclaim on release in 2013. Following that, there has been mostly silence on the increasingly bleak future of the franchise. Developer Sucker Punch has moved on to Ghost of Tsushima while Sanzaru Games has been acquired by Facebook to develop VR games for the Oculus platform. Much like Splinter Cell, Sly Cooper has been recognized in games like PlayStation All-Stars Battle Royale, but no new game has been hinted at or announced yet. Kingsfield 4 From Software may have come into the limelight with its work on Dark Souls, but the developer has been a part of the industry for decades at this point. Kingsfield was the developer's debut title, released to great critical and commercial acclaim in 1994. This action RPG received two follow-ups in the form of Kingsfield 2 and 3, respectively. Of course, From has garnered immense critical and commercial acclaim with its Soul series, but Kingsfield has largely been pushed to the wayside in favor of continually evolving the Souls formula with games like Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice, and the upcoming Elden Ring. Many fans have been clamoring for a Kingsfield comeback, and a Miyazaki-directed sequel would definitely set the internet on fire once again, if anything comes to fruition, that is. Sleeping Dogs 2 Sleeping Dogs was developer United Front Games' take on GTA-esque open worlds, and was met with loads of critical acclaim when it was released in 2012. Despite a few missteps and underperforming sales, Sleeping Dogs' tapestry of game mechanics provided for a great experience, and fans have, naturally enough, been asking for a sequel for some time. United Front Games had ambitious plans for a sequel, as revealed in a Vice report several years later. Of course, Sleeping Dogs 2 never got to see the light of day, or even entered full production for that matter since United Front Games closed its doors in 2016. The next Jack and Daxter Jack and Daxter is another action platformer that was one of the tentpole releases of Sony's PS2 generation. This Naughty Dog developed title also boasted great platforming, combat, exploration, and consistently delivered great sequels with the likes of Jack 2 and Jack 3. Following the release of Jack and Daxter The Lost Frontier in 2009, 
there have been no developments on the future of the franchise. Naughty Dog has since moved on to perfecting its brand of cinematic AAA blockbusters with the likes of Uncharted and The Last of Us. The developer is rumored to be working on a sci-fi IP, meaning that fans are less likely to be getting any new games in the franchise anytime soon. The Next Midnight Club Rockstar's portfolio of games was definitely more diverse than what the litany of Take-Two's premier group of institutions produced today. In addition to games like Bully, Rockstar produced experimental titles that could become giants of the genre with games like, well, Midnight Club in the racing genre. Midnight Club garnered immense critical and commercial acclaim with the franchise, and Rockstar San Diego continually upped the ante with sequels over the years. The team behind Midnight Club was dismantled following the release of Midnight Club LA Complete Edition in 2009 for reasons that mostly remain unknown until now. With Rockstar seemingly being laser-focused on pumping entries in the Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption franchises, it seems highly unlikely that Midnight Club's engines will ever rev again, despite legions of fans continually cheering for that very thing. The Next Manhunt on the topic of dormant Rockstar entities, we have Manhunt. Rockstar had invited a flurry of controversies surrounding the portrayal of violence in video games with each entry in the Grand Theft Auto franchise. Manhunt's gruesome acts of violence are a big step up from GTA, but its specific brand of stealth gameplay holds an irrefutable charm that enchanted fans when the original released in 2003. Manhunt did receive a sequel in 2007, but the constant onslaught of lawsuits and controversies raining down on Take-Two and Rockstar played a key role in halting the future of the franchise. Legions of fans still wait for a Manhunt 3, but Rockstar's switching of gears when it comes to its franchises makes this prospect seem highly unlikely. Deus Ex – Mankind Divided Sequel Deus Ex is considered by many to be one of the best sandbox simulation franchises of all time. Deus Ex Mankind Divided was the latest entry in the franchise, and while the game did fumble out of the gate with its adoption of microtransactions in a single-player format title, patches released post-release have turned the game's fates around for good, and most players have come to appreciate the game's better parts. As fans of the franchise might already know, the game ends on a cliffhanger, and fans are naturally asking for a sequel. There's been no news of what's next for the franchise, and developer Eidos Montreal is hard at work on its upcoming Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, Deus Ex hasn't been abandoned, but fans will have to wait out a fair bit before they get their hands on the next entry. Resistance 4 the Insomniac-developed Resistance has been an integral part of PlayStation history that has largely been pushed to the wayside in favor of newer IPs. Resistance made quite the wave within the industry when the first entry launched in 2006, and the franchise received a number of great sequels that constantly upped the ante in a number of ways. The last mainline entry came in the form of Resistance 3, which released in 2011 following which Insomniac moved on to other projects within the franchise. An interesting point worth noting is that it wasn't at the developer's willingness to move on to greener pastures, rather Sony's rejection of a Resistance 4 pitch due to a plethora of similar post-apocalyptic titles in development at Sony Studios at the time, as reported by reputable insider Colin Moriarty a couple of months ago. The Next Infamous Sucker Punch Productions' infamous series is one of the most creative and unique open-world games of the last two generations, and has a fair history of great entries within the franchise. Infamous Second Son was one of the earliest titles for the PS4 and holds up incredibly well today. Following the release of Second Son's prequel, Infamous First Light, Sucker Punch has revealed no plans of any future entries in the franchise. The developer has since then worked on Ghost of Tsushima, which is another great open-world game, albeit in completely different ways. Infamous's brand of gameplay and associated morality mechanics are difficult to find in today's gaming landscape, which further exacerbates the thirst that many fans have for more from the franchise. So, what are your thoughts on this? Go ahead and share them in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and enable all notifications by clicking on the bell icon to get updates on new videos. We upload every day and would really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching.